Welcome, everyone, to the Code Zoltan channel. Bonding is the process of connecting electrically conductive materials that are not involved in carrying current but have the potential to become energized. In this video, we will define and illustrate the definition of bonding, bonding conductor, equipment bonding jumper, main bonding jumper, supply side bonding jumper, and system bonding jumper. We will also discuss the importance of bonding. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin with the definition of bonded according to the code. Bonding refers to the connection made to establish electrical continuity and conductivity. In our first illustration, if the raceway used is made of metal, the two metal boxes are automatically bonded. However, if non-metallic raceways are used, a conductor or jumper is required to bond these two metal boxes together. This ensures electrical continuity between them. Speaking of conductor and jumper, what is bonding conductor or jumper? Bonding conductor or jumper is reliable conductor used to ensure the necessary electrical conductivity between metal parts that need to be electrically connected. They are utilized to establish electrical continuity and conductivity, ensuring a dependable connection between the metal components. Both terms, bonding conductor and bonding jumper, can be used interchangeably. Although the term bonding jumper is sometimes associated with a short conductor, it's worth noting that bonding jumpers can vary in length, with some being several feet long. It's important to remember that bonding two pieces of equipment together does not automatically mean that both pieces are grounded. In another illustration, we can see conduits and enclosures that are bonded by connecting them to a grounding bus terminal. The purpose of bonding is to connect two or more conductive objects together in order to ensure the electrical continuity of the ground fault current path. This provides the capacity and ability to safely conduct any fault current that may be imposed and minimizes voltage differences between conductive components. An equipment bonding jumper refers to the connection between two or more sections of the equipment grounding conductor. These bonding connections are made between different portions of the equipment grounding system. For example, the bonding between metal raceways, the grounding bus terminal, and the panelboard enclosure bonding would be classified as an equipment bonding jumper. The main bonding jumper is the connection between the grounded circuit conductor and the equipment grounding conductor at the service. In one of our illustrations, the bonding jumper that links the equipment ground bus and the neutral bus serves as an example of a main bonding jumper. Sometimes, the grounded conductor is linked to the grounding electrode conductor. It's important to differentiate between an equipment bonding jumper and a main bonding jumper. The main bonding jumper is located in the service equipment, while equipment bonding jumpers are installed on the load side of a service, feeder, or branch circuit overcurrent device. A supply-side bonding jumper is a conductor installed on the supply side of a service or within a service equipment enclosures, or for a separately derived system, that ensures the required electrical conductivity between metal parts required to be electrically connected. Equipment such as metal enclosures, raceways, and cable trays that are part of the supply-side conductors need to be bonded. For example, in the illustration of a wiring arrangement for dry-type transformers, the bonding conductors connecting the grounding bar terminal of a separately derived system to the first disconnect are considered supply-side bonding jumpers. Additionally, the bonding at the first disconnect enclosure is also a supply-side bonding jumper. A system bonding jumper is the connection between the grounded circuit conductor and the supply-side bonding jumper or the equipment grounding conductor, or both, in a separately derived system. It is used to connect the equipment grounding conductors or the supply-side bonding jumper to the grounded conductor of a separately derived system. The system bonding jumper can be located at the source or at the first system disconnecting means, as shown in another illustration. This type of bonding jumper ensures an effective path for ground fault current to return to the source. Similar to the main bonding jumper at the service equipment, the system bonding jumper provides the necessary link between the equipment grounding conductors and the system grounded conductor to establish an effective path for ground fault current to return to the source. In summary, the equipment bonding jumper is typically located at the load side of a service, feeder, or branch circuit overcurrent device. On the other hand, the main bonding jumper is found at the service equipment or service entrance connection. The supply side bonding jumper is positioned at the utility supply side of the service or within service equipment enclosures. Lastly, the system bonding jumper is installed as a bonding jumper for a new system, either at the service entrance or in a separately derived system. Understanding the various types of bonding and their significance is crucial for electrical safety and compliance with the code. Thank you for joining us on the Codesultant channel. Stay tuned for more valuable information on electrical code rules and best practices.